Well, at least Harry Shearer has some backbone. Hi all, welcome to the channel, thanks for clicking. So, update time. I did a video at the start of July about white voice actors stepping down from Bane roles on The Simpsons and other animated shows, you know, where long time actors such as Hank Azaria, who'd played Indian shopkeeper Apu for 30 odd years, stepped down to virtue signal how bloody woke they all are. Well, this week, Hank's co star and fellow Simpson old timer, Harry Shearer, has basically stopped two fingers up to it all. Love it. And he said, I have a very simple belief about acting. The job of the actor is to play someone who they are not. That's the gig. That's the job description. Amen. A bloody men. Finally, someone with a bit of friggin sense. So Harry here plays characters like the black Dr. Hibbert and, and Mr. Burns. Um, he says that he has nothing in common with these characters that he plays. And why would he need to? You know, why would he need to? He just needs to read from the script into a microphone in the most appropriate voice, bring the character to life. And that's that. His skin colour or identity as a person does not even need to come into it. Like it all. It's just more losers trying to score woke points. He also warns against conflating representation with performance. And that's a great point. Because these people who are trying to find any excuse for victimhood and oppression are not actually saying that The Simpsons doesn't have any BAME characters. It's that the actors playing them are white, which in their warped mind is problematic. Why? Why does it matter? I say again, you don't need to be an ex-convict to play Snake. You don't need an Italian mobster to voice back Tony. And you don't need an evangelical Christian to pop up as Ned Flanders. So why does a Mexican bumblebee man need to be voiced by a proper Mexican? It's bloody nuts. Now, there may be a different argument to be had here about the casting of ethnic minority actors um, to be cast more in the show. But the reason that these characters are all voiced by white people in the first place is because the show began in 1989. 1989. That's longer than I've been alive. We've, been, we've become much more of a progressive society in recent years. And the reason the majority of main characters in The Simpsons are voiced by white people is because they were the majority in the US in the late 80s. And of course they still are. But the characters became so iconic through the years that it made no sense to remove them or their actors as it wouldn't be consistent. The actors talent and voices are a part of the DNA of the characters and replacing an actor with a mimic or an impressionist just isn't the same and removing them altogether will be as equally as tragic. You know should, should a Brummy be outraged that an Irishman plays the part of Thomas Shelby in Peaky Blinders? A Scotsman playing an English role? I mean, there's an orange man playing a white man on TV every night. No one says anything about that. <laughs> Get a grip, people. Grow a spine. Be more Shearer. 